In this video, let's see how to store the tokens in the browser's local storage. Now, if we go back to Visual Studio Code and take a look at the register component, currently, we are simply logging the response from the register API. And we saw in the previous video that the response is now the token object. Now, storing this token in the browser is really simple and we will be making use of local storage. So in the response arrow function, let's add the code. It is going to be local storage dot set item. And then the key is going to be token. And then the value is going to be response dot token. And let's do the same in the login component. I'm going to copy the response arrow function, go to the login component and then paste it. All we are doing is setting an item with the key token and then the value is the token from the server in the browser's local storage. Let's go ahead and test it out. Open the browser and in the developer tools, go to the application panel. Over here, select local storage and select your application, localhost colon 4200. Now in the register view, enter the details. I'm going to go with f at f.com and then the password is f and I'm going to click on register. When the user is successfully registered, you should see a new item in the local storage with the key token. And then the value is the JSON web token that is generated from the server. Similarly, let's test login. So let's delete this token, navigate to the login view, and then enter the details. I'm going to go with f at f.com and then the password is f and I'm going to click on login. And again, you should see the token that is set in the local storage. The key is the string token and then the value is the token generated in the server. All right, now that we are able to store the token in the front end, let's also quickly improve the user experience when a user logs in or registers. Now, if either registration or login was successful, that means that the user is authenticated. So let's navigate them to the special events view. And for that, we make use of the router. In the register component, import the router, inject it, and then use the navigate method. So first import and then inject and finally navigate. So this dot router dot navigate to the special events view. Import, inject and navigate. Let's repeat the exact same code in the login component. Import the router, inject it and then navigate. All right, so now if we go back to the browser and log in, we should be navigated to the special events view. A at a.com, password is A, click on login. It's going to take us to the special events view. Similarly, let's also go back to the register view and test if it works. So register is going to be L at L.com, password is L and click on register. And it's going to take me to the special events view. All right, as you can see, we now have a slightly better user experience when a new user registers or an existing user logs in.